So much wasted potential. What's happening? For some reason, Striker's defense hats are online. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 movies that should have made great games. For more gaming videos, check out our new spin-off channel, Mojo Plays, for in-depth reviews, thoughtful video essays, detailed character origins, and insightful commentary. Mojo Plays. Game smarter. For this list, we're looking at movies with tie-in games that failed to live up to expectations created by their film counterparts. To be clear, we're not saying that all of these games are necessarily bad, only that when compared to their source material, they leave a lot to be desired. Number 10, The Incredibles. Don't sweat it! Just pick up a first aid kit! This Pixar giant took the world by storm thanks to its family-friendly take on the superhero genre. The action-adventure beat-em-up of the same name? Not so much. Hey, that hurt! While it did sell well, a lack of originality in gameplay and level design stopped it from having any staying power. It didn't help that the game didn't feature any multiplayer options, even though each family member has unique power sets. While its sequel, Rise of the Underminer, did have multiplayer, you could only play as Mr. Incredible and Frozone. Perhaps with the release of a sequel film, we'll be able to get a game worthy of this Pixar favorite. We can only hope. All right. Number 9. The Fifth Element A cult classic today, this film was a pretty big hit when it debuted in the 1990s. It's a shame then that it only received one video game adaptation that has since faded from most people's memories. Or maybe not, seeing how badly received the PlayStation version was. It lacked any of the aspects that made the film so delightfully charming, leaving many critics without anything positive to say. It could have featured some fun third-person shooting and action-adventuring, but instead was highlighted by awkward controls, poor level design, and an annoyingly sticky camera. Number 8. How to Train Your Dragon 2 Hey, Rough Nut, you see that? While the first film in the franchise also got a video game adaptation, it was the second film that could have made for a more enriching game experience due to its higher focus on action and more mature themes. Unfortunately, what we got was an underwhelming collection of flying mini-games. While you can choose from an assortment of flyers and dragons, the game offers little else in terms of variety. The mini-games can be kinda fun for a bit, but there's no story mode to be found, and playing through some of the action sequences in the film, such as the climactic fight against Drago, could have been truly breathtaking if done right. Out of the Jorgensons, right here! Number 7, X2 and X-Men Last Stand. I knew I smelled something rotten. That's probably your breath. While it's true that there have been successful video games featuring the X-Men, none of them have really focused on the film versions of the team. That is, except for 2006's X-Men The Official Game, a tie-in for the second and third film in the franchise. Players got to play as Wolverine, Iceman, and Nightcrawler, with other team members popping up in cameos. Too late. Get the parts. I'll hold them off as long as I can. Not only was there a lack of characters, but the game was also seen as a generic beat-em-up due to its repetitive gameplay and poor enemy AI. With the expanded roster the film series has given us, we definitely think this one needs to be revisited. Ah, well, looks like you can take care of yourself. Number 6. Terminator 2 Judgment Day As one of the greatest action movies ever made, you'd think that it would have produced a pretty great game, right? Well, you'd be mistaken, buddy. There were multiple versions of this tie-in released on consoles, such as the NES, SNES, and even Commodore 64. While there was an arcade version of the game that did well, the Nintendo versions, in particular, suffered due to their poor graphics and confusing gameplay. Many critics also criticized the game for having unnecessarily tough enemies, making the T-800 look like kind of a wimp. In an era of wonderful side-scrolling action-adventure games, this one unfortunately failed to reach the heights of his cinematic counterpart. Number 5. Pacific Rim With a plot that sounds like a video game already, this digital download tie-in was a no-brainer and should have made for a successful fighting game. While it was praised for its faithfulness to the source material, yeah, they actually fight, what else is there to do? The game was still bogged down by bland environments, tedious gameplay, and real clunky controls. It was almost universally criticized for feeling rushed just to cash in on the popularity of the film. It even featured in-game purchases for stat upgrades to your fighters, but who would want those? 
Many of the fights in the film can only be defined as epic, so it's kind of a shame that we never got that same feeling in a game. Number 4. Avatar Being one of the most popular movies of the 21st century, it was no surprise that James Cameron's Avatar received a video game tie-in. And depending on which version you look at, the reception was kinda lukewarm at best. Some of the highlights of the film were its flying and action sequences, and being able to explore the vast world of Pandora could have been a treat to gamers everywhere. But outside of being able to choose to side with the Navi or the humans, especially within the leveling up process, bad camera work and weak combat also stopped it from being more than just your average tie-in. Stay sharp, our landing could get airy. Number 3. The Matrix Franchise this groundbreaking sci-fi classic has given fans a couple of games, though none of them have quite lived up to the expectations of the original film. 2003's Enter the Matrix tied in story elements from the second and third films. Though players could only play as two supporting characters, critics noted that it felt rushed and the control system couldn't match up with the fight choreography of the movies. Players were allowed to play through Neo's storyline in The Matrix Path of Neo. But that game also failed to set itself apart from other games in the genre. There was also the MMORPG, but that had little to do with the franchise storyline anyway. Number 2. Iron Man When the first film in the MCU came out, it crushed all expectations and is still considered to be one of the best in the entire franchise. So it's pretty disappointing that its tie-in video game rightly received low scores across the board. Jarvis, and training program, this is real. The cutscenes look and sound terrible, the gameplay is frustratingly repetitive, and the enemies can be kind of overwhelming. Even with the ability to customize the weapons on your suit, the game does little else to entice players to stick around. Gone is all of the charm that made the film such a hit, and all that people are left with is a wearisome mess. Number 1. Aliens Although Konami published a well-received arcade shooter based on this sci-fi juggernaut in the 1990s, this film is on the list for an altogether different game, 2013's Aliens Colonial Marines. The hype was pretty darn high for this one, as it was considered canon to James Cameron's film, taking place several months after. But that hype was absolutely destroyed when the final version came out. The story actually had several continuity errors, and the already unbalanced gameplay suffered from bugs, bad AI, and unimpressive graphics. Aliens is a tense and brilliant blend of action and horror, and Colonial Marines is none of those things. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo, and subscribe for new videos every day.